Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a BMW E46. And if you have one from year uh, 1998 to year 2006, guys, BMW 3 Series, and you have a code such as P0010, guys, uh, stay with us and we'll show you how to fix that. Uh, we have that uh, 2005 BMW with this code. We'll explain what causes that. We are going to diagnose it and we will also guys list all the tools and parts including the replacement parts and the scanner in the description of the video below for your convenience. In addition guys we will have more than 200 videos on this car because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So please subscribe to the channel in return, like the video and leave a comment below. So let's start on it now. So <clears throat> we have the scanner connected right here guys, that's the scanner that we'll be using uh, to the OBD port of the vehicle. But uh, before, we, uh, before we continue, let me start it for you, okay, and you're going to notice how the okay, engine light is on, okay, engine light just stays on guys, okay, no matter what you do, that engine light is there all the time. So what is causing that now? Okay, that code P0010. We'll turn the engine off now, okay, and once we do that now, uh, we'll need to turn the ignition on only where the lights are on, but the car is not running. Okay, we have the scanner here, and this one works not just on BMW, guys, this is amazing scanner. Okay, let me just adjust it here that I recommend, okay, you can read and delete codes from the engine computer, airbag computer, traction control and ABS computer, you can do battery registration, quite a few things. So. Really cool too guys, just to show you quick what it can do. You can find it listed in the description of the video below and see where we get it from. I'll click OBD and now it's going to connect, it's going to take just a little bit of time. Uh, also guys, all the tools and parts as I mentioned, okay, will be listed in the description of the video below so that way you don't have to waste time uh, finding it, okay, and you will know where to get them from because many many of you ask me guys where we buy our parts from so we started that program now where we list everything underneath the vehicle okay it's connecting now it's going to give us okay the table and we have one code found okay we confirm okay we select enter and now we're going to go under read codes stored codes the code is p01 P0010 A camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one. Now we'll explain guys okay what causes that. So let me turn the engine off and we'll explain what needs to be inspected or replaced. So we have already that cover out of the way guys. Okay, uh, this cover right here stays like that. Okay, but with the cover it's a little bit hard for me to show you things, so I removed it. You don't even have to remove it to be honest with you, I just removed it so I can show you okay, a little bit better where things are and uh, you know guys okay, what to expect. So if you come towards this side now, okay, remember how the code it starts with camshaft A, okay, that means that the intake camshaft vanus solenoid actuator. Okay, this is on the intake side because this is where the uh, engine is getting its fuel and air on this side you have your exhaust so the one for the exhaust is down there now this is guys the intake one this is your vanus solenoid so you have to inspect your wiring harness here guys make sure that the wiring harness is not broken or anything how it is connected you push on that clip and pull it back okay inspect to make sure that there is no corrosion or anything reconnect it check it again see if it's going to take care of the problem also, if that doesn't take care of the problem, the vanus itself, okay, we'll have to replace it on ours. You just remove it, okay, you can see that big nut, you get it loose, okay, unscrew the vanus, take it out, replace it with a new one. This is the solenoid. You can actually even test those. We have the video on the channel that explains how to test them. Super simple, you don't even need any special tools to test the vanus solenoid. You can do it. Okay, super simple, but you have to remove it. Check it out if you want on the channel. In our case, it's a bad vanus solenoid, so we'll be replacing it. Uh, all we have to do again, just take it off. Okay, install the new one. You don't need to do any programming. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that. If you want to see the video, guys, we'll have it on the channel, how to replace both of them. But now we'll be just doing that, and we'll see if that will take care of the problem. So, vanus solenoid has been replaced. I'll go inside now. 
Okay, it's been a while, so I'll need to turn the ignition on again. Okay, and I'll turn. Okay, I'm going to reconnect the computer and read the codes to make sure that it's going to reconnect to the engine computer so we can clear the engine light. Otherwise, we have to reconnect the computer from the beginning because uh, the ignition was off for a long time and it needs to establish communication. So we need to click erase codes right here. Erase done. Yes. Perfect. Now I'll turn the engine off, uh, the ignition off, start the car. Okay, and seems like guys. Okay, the car runs smooth, no engine light on. If something goes bad and it comes back, we will list it in the description of the video below. I'll just quick go to erase uh, to read codes. And we're going to check under pending codes. If it's not performing, you'll be able to find it there quick. Nothing. So that definitely took care of our problem. New Vanus Solenoid. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.